After World War II, Europe stood at a crossroads, with its physical and philosophical landscapes deeply scarred by conflict and economic turmoil. This period led to a significant transformation, which reshaped European culture through new philosophies, artistic movements, and social changes. Let's look at these shifts and add layers and specifics for a complex understanding. The aftermath of the war and the economic depression before it cast a long shadow over Europe. The widespread destruction and the stark revelations of human capability for violence led many to question the Enlightenment ideals of progress and rationality. This skepticism fueled the rise of existentialism, a philosophy that believed the human condition was absurd and individual choice mattered most. Jean-Paul Sartre and Albert Camus, with works like Nausea and The Stranger, captured the crisis of the age and focused on freedom, isolation, and the inherent meaninglessness of life. The visual arts saw revolutionary movements like Cubism and Surrealism challenge perceptions of reality. Picasso's fragmented forms and Dali's dreamlike landscapes offered visual expressions of the era's philosophical uncertainties. In architecture, the Bauhaus movement, led by visionaries like Walter Gropius, merged function with aesthetic, influencing modern design principles. Music, too, was transformed, with composers like Igor Stravinsky and Arnold Schoenberg breaking traditional harmonies and structures, thereby reflecting the century's tumult and innovation. Literature became a place to challenge what was normal in society and to explore the depths of the human mind. Franz Kafka's The Trial and Virginia Woolf's Stream of Consciousness Technique and Mrs. Dalloway questioned authority and explored inner realities, respectively. James Joyce's Ulysses took stream of consciousness further and broke the rules of stories to reflect how complex and fragmented modern life was. Post-war recovery, lit by the Marshall Plan investments, led to a consumer boom, which changed people's lifestyles a lot. Governments encouraged population growth through policies like neonatalism, while innovations in domestic technology made life easier. This era of prosperity supported the rise of a consumer culture and increased disposable income changed how Europeans lived, worked, and played. The 1960s and beyond saw a wave of social movements which challenged what was normal. The women's movement, with leaders like Simone de Beauvoir, championed gender equality. The gay rights movement sought recognition and rights, influenced by the Stonewall riots of 1969. Both movements faced opposition, yet their efforts led to significant legal and societal changes over the decades. In the post-war period, European governments knew they needed demographic growth, so made policies to encourage bigger families. Childcare facilities and family benefits were part of broader neonatalist policies aimed to increase birth rates. These efforts, combined with the era's economic prosperity, contributed to the phenomenon known as the baby boom. Despite the secular trends, religion remained powerful. The Second Vatican Council, 1962 to 1965, modernized the Catholic Church with greater openness to the modern world and other faiths. The church and individual Christians played different roles in responding to totalitarian regimes, from Dietrich Bonhoeffer's resistance against Nazism to Pope John Paul II's influential stance against communism in Poland, supporting the Solidarity Movement. We see a Europe that, though tremendously challenged, went on a journey of cultural, social, and philosophical transformation. From the terror and stress reflected in philosophy and literature, to the innovative disruptions in art and music, and from the struggles for civil rights to the new landscape of religious and public life, these shifts show a continent that strives to redefine itself and its values as the world changes. How would you change Europe? Tell us in the comments, share with your friends, like the video, and subscribe for more.